in Baldur's Gate 3, I found this, um, I found a ring and a circlet that give you arcane synergy every single time that you fulfill their condition. They have different ones. The ring makes it so when you use a fucking cantrip, uh, you have arcane synergy for two turns. The circlet makes it so whenever you inflict a condition on some enemy, you have it for two turns. You know, I think, like... The enemy has like acid or fire on them, some bullshit like that, right? Cantrip one's easier, so I'm using it for all the tests. I put it on like the 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 fighter because they can like dual wield and attack with like a weapon in each hand, so that way I could get double the profit out of the um the arcane synergy. Let let's say hypothetically, I should probably say what fucking arcane synergy even does. The arcane synergy increases your damage that you deal based off of the spell casting modifier that you have for your class, right? So, hypothetically, let's say you scaled off of, like, Charisma, and your Charisma was at max. You had 20 Charisma, so that means you have plus 5 to every single attack you do. So if you're dual-wielding, that's plus 10 to every single hit you do, because you're going to be hitting with both weapons at the same time. But Fighter has no fucking spell modifier, so I turned it into Elder's Knight. But the Elder's Knight was weird, and it used, like, wisdom. Like, it said it used wisdom in the leveling thing, which wasn't true, because when you try to use the cantrip, it would miss frequently. And, um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Arcane Synergy's, uh, spell modifier damage would only increase by, like, fucking one or some shit. And that's because, uh, the spell modifier isn't actually wisdom, and, like, the, the fucking menu was wrong. It was actually intelligence. But after I fixed that, let's say... As, uh, as the Elder's Knight, and you have intelligence now, so let's assume your intelligence is like fucking 20 or some shit. That would mean both of my hits do 5 damage each extra with the, the Arcane Synergy. So next step was I wanted to um, spec into Thief so I could have a second bonus action, so that way I could hit a total of 4 times getting 20 damage out of the Arcane Synergy, hypothetically if I all of the conditions were met. But if I'm subclassing into a... Uh, Thief, which has no spellcasting modifier, does it just default to the um, Elder's Knight one? Okay, so after do after testing it around a bit more, it um, defaults to the uh, Elder's Knight. So we're still cooking with gas. But now, on top of that, I want to uh, combine with um, Druid because um druid uh has a spore thing that lets you do even more damage with hits because i'm greedy and i just want to get as much damage as possible but this time eldritch knight and druid actually have two different spell casting modifiers so is it going to do what was going to happen before where it defaults to fighter because it's my first class or is it going to go to druid because it's the newest class added to my multi-classes or is it going to take like the spell casting modifier from both of them and then divide it by two so that way i can get total damage so i test that out right test it out a bunch of times and other shit right and it seems that the spellcasting modifier ability is the only thing that determines what the damage comes from is whatever your latest multi-class is with an exception to um if the class that you multi-class into doesn't have a spellcasting modifier